Hey guys, so today I'm just doing a quick haul. It's nighttime. As you can probably tell because it's really dark in here and I just have this light lamp that I have in a corner that I'm using. And I picked up a couple of drugstore things. Well, drugstore and high-end things, hair care, skin care, and a few makeup items over the past month. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. So I'll start with hair care items. Um, I ran out of my um sulfate free shampoo that i was using um because i use a sulfate free shampoo all the time except when i feel like i have build up um and that's when i use a shampoo for sulfates just to kind of clean it up some more so i wanted to try this hair one stuff from sally's and i saw um tracy from kiss i think her username is kiss 77 on youtube um in her last i think it was her haul or if it was her favorite products video she um showed the hair one for the dry scalp formula this is the tea tree oil formula and it's sulfate free so i really wanted to try this and i tried it once and i really really like it it did clean my hair very real well i thought it would just feel not clean but it really did and it doesn't foam up or make suds or anything which is a little different but you just massage it very well and let it sit in for a little bit and rinse it out and then deep condition after so I really I really liked it the only thing you do kind of have what well, I use a lot I'm really heavy-handed with formulas I mean with products so oh well, there's no opening I can really show you where it's at but it was well I don't even know where it's but I use it once and it's here so hopefully it doesn't it doesn't go by too fast but I only shampoo once a week so it shouldn't go that fast and I also wanted to try the serum I had been looking at it for a while because I did run out of I had um the John not for John Frida Paul Mitchell super skinny serum I've used it for I've had it for a while and I was using it um when I had my uh sewing in but I ran out of that so I wanted to try this for my natural hair also uh just to give more shine and kind of give some slip and maybe help detangle a little more but this is the Moroccan organics penetrating Moroccan argan oil extra the extra formula is for dry coarse hair and it, the packaging just looks like this I haven't used this yet but let me open it up and see how big the bottle is but it was about six dollars at Walmart and the hair one I got from Sally's and it was nine like ten dollars basically so that's a pretty nice size bottle for six dollars and it has very a light fragrance to it it's not very strong which I like so I'm gonna try this and see how that helps maybe I'll, it'll help air dry a little better when while I'm stretching my relaxer and by the way those videos are coming up pretty soon about I'll probably film the next time a wash will be in a couple days because I am nine plus weeks post relaxer right now and I also got from Sally's the Do Grow Mega Thick Growth Oil. And I've had this before and I really like this for applying to my scalp because lately my scalp has been extra dry. And I'm thinking I may need to go see a dermatologist because I keep getting, um, like, I don't want to call them scabs. But I did have a, a nasty scab, but scaly looking areas, especially along my hairline. And it gets really itchy and if I scratch it, then it itches more. So I just try not to touch it and this helps um, and I try to use this like every other day every two to three days um, on my scalp and massaging it in the only thing is when you get close to wash time it gets like your hair has a lot of oil in it so thank goodness I just wear my hair up all the time so that's all the hair products I got just things that I needed to replace basically um, most of the stuff is basically <laughs> replacement items Next, I um, placed the order with MAC because I just needed to replenish a few things. So, and I was really tempted to buy from the new collections, but I resisted my temptations. But I needed some new brush cleaner, so I got that just to spot clean my brushes because I really bad habit of not wash like deep cleaning them. And I needed to replace my favorite concealer from them, and this is the Select Cover Up Concealer. And it's just the one in the little tube and uh, I really like this one because it's really liquidy it's like a it's a like thick liquid 
but it's not that thick it's like in between uh, but it doesn't like run easily but I like that it's in the um, little squeeze bottle because you don't have to put your finger in it you just squeeze out a little bit and you only need a tiny bit like my last one lasted me a very very long time a year but I wasn't using it constantly but um, you just you need the tiniest amount to conceal like a lot of areas which I really love and also the coloring in this one this is NC50 <clears throat> and as you can see it looks it looks pretty dark for an NC50 um, and this is a different color than the studio finish concealer that I was using um, I used it in my updated foundation routine I like that it has coverage but it's not as easy it doesn't blend as easily and the NC50 in that is a little lighter than the NC50 in this one maybe it's the different consistencies but this one blends um, much better with my darker areas that are around my mouth which is basically the only thing I use this to conceal with um, but I do have lots of hyperpigmentation around there so this is perfect for me to uh, conceal these areas also I needed to repurchase my primer and I used the prep and prime face protect SPF 50 and this is my primer and sunscreen all-in-one and it's really good for oily skin I highly recommend it so I repurchased this and my last one lasted me well I'm still using it but I know it's um, on its last leg but um, it's lasted me for months and next there are a couple new dress store items that I got to do to the hype on YouTube but I didn't go crazy um, because I am putting myself on budgets and the only reason I had to get all this stuff is to replenish some items um, I needed a new mascara because mine were drying out and I saw a makeup doll um, Keisha she raved about this mascara. I think it was this mascara I didn't even go back to make sure it was the same but this is the Remo lash accelerator grow plus lash and I think this is the one she made the video about her rave video and it just looks like this I like the tube and it has a very skinny brush the only thing I'm not used to mascaras with skinny brushes like this it's pretty skinny and the formula is nice it's a very wet formula so if you have very limp lashes it, it might weigh them down but mine are um, like they're really curly so um, it doesn't really weigh them down too much um, the only thing it's a little harder to build it up because I'm used to building and building my mascara and like you know wearing tons of mascara but I can't really do that with this because it's a little wetter so it takes longer to dry and it'll like clump a little easier if you put too much but it does lengthen your lashes nicely now I just need to find something for volume which I'll probably just go and get my L'Oreal uh, Luminous and then next are these very hyped up items on YouTube and I bought um, these Maybelline Eye Studio Color Tattoo 24 Hour, whatever they're called. And this is the one in pom Pomegranate Punk. And this is like one of the only colors that really caught my eye because I really only wear neutral plums, beiges, um, very deep colors in a lot of them were very bright which I don't normally wear I mean if I want to experiment of course I'll probably go buy them but um, just for like daily usage I think this one would be the most used by me and these are pretty cheap cheap at Walmart they're like five or six dollars and the next one and uh, I did want to get the black one I think or no I think the black one was in it there was another color I wanted but I can't remember what it was um, then I got one of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows and this is in Golden Sage and a lot of people said these remind them of the Armani Eyes to Kill things and I did play with those at the Armani counter but um, these are a lot cheaper and Golden Sage looks like this it's a very pretty color and it kind of reminds me of Sumptuous Olive from MAC but Sumptuous Olive is a little bit more golden but this is very very pretty so and I'll be doing a hopefully a makeup tutorial using pomegranate punk uh, for Valentine's Day I need to get that done soon but I really love this and um, these both I try them without primers any crease so I'm gonna try them with with a primer and well I tried the this one with a primer it didn't crease so I have to use these with primers because I have 
the oiliest, oiliest eyelids ever. So, and the last drugstore item I bought was a uh, Tea and Dickinson's Witch Hazel, and I just used this as a toner because I noticed when I use my Clarisonic, because I used it, I use it in the morning and at night. I don't need to really ex um, use a toner after because it gets it pretty clean, but because I didn't really want the extra expense of a, a toner, but my mom always used this. And they used to live, live, use it when I lived with my mom, but now that I don't and I didn't have any, I wanted to repurchase it because it's pretty cheap. It's like four, three to four dollars, and you get a ton. And the only thing I don't like is just the smell. And this is really good. It says for oily, irritated, red, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin. So you can use it anywhere, basically. Um, and that's good that it's for oily skin. And lastly, today I went to Sephora. I actually about an hour ago and I just needed to repurchase a couple skincare items and I think this is the last like um, beauty related thing that I really needed to buy so and this stuff is kind of expensive so I did have to save up a little bit to so that I can you know buy what I needed um, so I really love Basha and I mean, it's not Basha, the lady at the store corrected me, it's Bosha, and I love, love, I can't rave enough about the black line, black, I just call it the black line, the stuff in the black boxes. Um, the first thing I tried, um, which y'all probably know that I hauled, was the um, Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel, and I love, love, love this moisturizer. I used it morning and night and helped with oily skin. My skin was clear, smooth. It helped with the size of my pores. It's just like my holy grail moisturizer. And it has like a cool, like refreshing tingle when you apply it. So I really love that. And they recently came out with the um, Detoxifying Black Cleanser. And this is a very new item. And the last time I went, they were sold out of it. And so I had to wait till they um, restocked, and they did, and I went today. So um, this is also black. This, the stuff is like kind of like black gel. It's not like when you apply it to your face, your face isn't black when you uh, put it on. But um, I think this one's supposed to have a warming sensation. So it would be kind of weird for this to have a warming sensation. It's kind of have a cooling sensation. I don't know how that's going to make your skin feel. Hopefully it feels nice. But um, yeah, I can't wait to try this. And these both actually have a glycolic acid and they both have a skin brightening properties to them. So I did notice when I was using this, my face was a lot clearer and brighter. So hopefully with them together, my face is awesome. My skin is awesome. So um, they both range. I believe the cleanser was $28 and um, the moisturizer was 38 I think um so they're they are pretty pricey but this you don't though when I had it the last time I think I was using a little too much at one time so it ran out faster than I expected and the only thing I don't like about this packaging is you can't really see oops is you can't really see um how much you have in there so it's the only thing I don't really like about the packaging and so hopefully with me using the right amount, I don't run out of the moist, uh, moisturizer that fast. But these cleansers, I'm using my other Bosha cleanser and it's lasted me for about over three months. So, And um, lastly, I just got a couple samples. Uh, I got a sample of the Kate Somerville Exfoliate, um, which is pretty expensive, but I love it. It's my favorite exfoliator. So I just got a sample of it so for me to use like for two weeks because I only exfoliate like really exfoliate exfoliate with an exfoliator like once a week um and then the lady um told me that i should try the bosha but bosha pores no more pores no pores no shine t-zone treatment and so it's supposed to help with the oily skin and um large pores so i'll try that before i apply my makeup i hope you guys enjoyed this haul hopefully i can edit it down so it's not too long but uh, if you have any questions about any of the products, just leave them below and I'll be sure to answer. Uh, I do want to try and get my skincare routine up um, very soon in a couple of hair videos. So, And if you have any video requests, please post them below because it's really hard for me to try and figure out which what kind of videos I should upload. And I don't know what 
what's everyone's favorite type of video from me. So, hope you guys let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next